Hello everyone and welcome to Example. In this video, I'm going to give you an idea of the objective uh, part of NABARD Grade A IT Officer Phase 2 exam. I already made one video on the descriptive part. Now, as per on your request, I am here with the objective part. One information for all of you, I'm not going to discuss all the questions that are there in the objective part of NABARD Grade A but I will be discussing the two different types of objective questions that are usually asked in the exam. You can attempt the mock test uh, for the previous year paper on our website. You can get an entire idea how the questions are asked, what were the questions are asked and from which topic the questions were asked. Here in this video, I'm going to give you just an idea that uh, what type of questions are asked. So basically there are two types of questions which are asked in the objective part. One are the direct MCQ questions and other are the paragraph based questions. So here I have taken three uh, direct MCQ questions and two paragraph based questions. So let's start with the first one that is the direct type of MCQ questions. Now, before doing that thing, I will like you to give an overview of the entire uh, pattern of the phase two. We are concentrating again on the paper two objective part where the questions are 30 and the marks are 50 and the duration is 30. Okay. So first uh, we will look on the questions which are of one marker and then we will look on the questions which are of two marker. Let's see. This particular question is from 2021 examination where one has directly asked you the best case time complexity of the merge sort. So you can see how direct the questions are asked. They are directly asked on the facts and figures which you have read in your syllabus. So now, if one has just read about the merge sort, know about its working, they will be able to answer that the complexity, which is the best case complexity of the merge sort is n log n. So this is the way how direct questions are asked for the one liner. So you read the question, you answer it in 5 to 10 seconds and then you move on. So the time of 30 minutes can be utilized best for the paragraph based questions because you will need to read the paragraph just to justify your answer, recheck your answer and do a lot of check at the end so that before you submit and get to the descriptive part, you are sure enough that how much you have scored in your objective part. Now, the second question was related to the k-mean algorithm. So here the question is like in k-mean algorithm, we calculate the distance between each point of the data set to dash initialized. So here the correct answer is centroid. So you know that the question are easy, but the topic can vary from a lot amount of things. So here you can see this particular question is from the topic of the machine learning supervised and unsupervised learning, where we have regression, classification, these kinds of algorithm and approaches. And there one of the algorithm is the k-mean algorithm. And this basically is taking the main thing for the centroid to identify the distance between the each data set to every centroid which is initialized. So here the answer will be first one. Now the third question from the objective part uh, is from the data warehouse where they are asking about a fact table that what basically a fact table consists of. So a fact table consists of all of these that are measurements, metrics and the facts. So here the answer will be all of the above. So these were the three questions which I just uh, took from the previous year paper of 2021, which you won't be getting anywhere because these are all memory based questions and we have prepared all of that our own so that you will get an idea that the questions were asked from which all topic. The question might be different, the language might be different, but yes, the topic from which they have asked are entirely same. Okay, so these are the type of questions which you can expect the difficulty level which you can expect in the phase two paper one for the one marker question of the ID. Now, let's jump into the second type of questions. So in IT, no other exam other than NABARD is going to ask you these kinds of questions which are passage based questions. These are the technical passages which you have to read and you have to infer some kind of understanding. More of the time, these passages will be well known to you. They are not new thing. You might, if you are uh, 
reading continuously the current affairs as well as the static part of your IT, you will be able to relate to these passages. So these passages are not something that you will come across at the first time. Definitely you will be knowing about them. But yes, if you know about them in a great detail, it will be helping you because you don't need to read the entire passage. You will be just reading in between the lines and you can get an entire idea what this passage is all about so here you can see the passage talks about the fcfs algorithm of the operating system if one knows the fcfs algorithm how it works how to solve the numericals then one doesn't need to just read these all because it is not having any fill in the blank question so you don't need to read the sentence you can just directly go to the question where the question is giving you the process the boss time and the arrival time and then the questions are asked from this particular thing to solve some numericals for example the question asks you the average waiting time for all the process so if you know how the fcfs work you know how to calculate the waiting time you know how to calculate the turnaround time you will be able to answer it without reading the passage so there will be some kind of passages which will not require you to read if you have a prior idea and kind of numericals things will be involved this passage is from the 2021 paper so basically the question is not exactly the same but the entire passage was again on the fcfs there there were some missing information and on the top like on the basis of those informations provided in the paragraph only you have to calculate the missing data so again if you know the concept you will be able to solve it just in few seconds so here the correct answer will be 8.5 millisecond and you can just solve or pause the video or after you're done with the video, you can just try to solve this again. Now, the second kind of passages which you can come across are the fill in the blank kind of thing. So here you need to pay more attention. There can be two things. The passage might be known to you technically, conceptually. Second thing, you are completely unaware of the topic. It may be difficult if you are completely unaware of the topic to answer these kinds of questions because it involves filling the blanks and we are clueless if we don't know anything about it. But yes, again, keep my words, you will be knowing many times about these topics. So this particular passage is regarding the software testing and is actually trying to uh, like give you a hint about different kinds of testings which we involve. So here you can see there is uh, 14 15 16 17 these kinds of blank things are there you have to fill in the blanks depending upon the options which you will get in the question now just read the first uh, paragraph software testing is a process of making sure your software oblique app works as it should there are various methods you can use to test your code and each testing method has a different requirement so it gives you an idea that what the rest of the paragraph is going to talk about now Coming to the second paragraph, this is very important because from here we are going to get our first question. Software testing is integral to the process of building good software that works as it should. It also helps to improve the productivity and performance. Testing is an important part of the hand dash. Now you have to get the correct answer for the first thing. Now, question will be asking you which is the best fit for the blank space 14. It is not the fit, it is the best fit. So software development, life cycle, waterfall model, agile model, market launch, or none of these. So if you will see waterfall agile, these two are what? These are the SDLC. So these two cannot be correct. Definitely either one will be correct or two or three cannot be correct. So definitely we have only two options left, one and four. Market launch doesn't make any sense because once the testing is completed, then only we can go for a market launch. So market launch is none. Uh, of the best fit for this answer so here the correct answer will be software development life cycle so this is the way how you are going to get the type of questions how you are going to brainstorm yourself during that particular 30 minute to get the correct answer for these kinds of passages so now if you can read it again testing is an important part of the dash and dash is going to get filled up with the software development life cycle so these are the two kinds of passages which you will be definitely getting in the nabar they are going to stick to these two kinds of pattern again winding up the entire pattern for the objective part you will get direct based mcq questions if you know you know if you don't know don't give it a try because uh, you might get some negative numbers then coming to the passage based questions you will be getting two kinds of passages one will be the data given packages and then you have to like uh, calculate something of your own or draw some inferences from the paragraph and the second kind of paragraph will be having a lot of fill in the blanks and you have to fill in the blank with the correct technical stuff now 
we have an announcement for you all as the nabard grade a notification has been released you can get an online course at ixambi.com where you will get the video lessons which are pre-recorded with all the concepts that are required for your exam the study notes the practice test the live session and the interview guidance so if you are waiting for the right guidance enroll now and do check our course at www.ixambi.com if you have any doubt you can just write us at hello at exambi.com or you can just call us on the number that is being flashed on the screen right now so if you like this video and you want us to give some more motivation to bring some more content related video and some strategy related video do hit the like button also press the subscribe button so that you can get the regular update from our side by hitting the bell icon on the top also now this was all from my side for the objective part you can also go and watch the descriptive part so that you can get an idea of the entire Nabard IIT phase 2. All the best for all your preparation. Buck up yourself and prepare faster with 50% with high exam B. So that was all from my side. See you in the next video.